checking out the end of the Lake Minnewanka and there's a tourist site here and there's also a boat launch and tour cruises here if you want to get down and check out the lake. One thing we can do is go on a little hike. So we're going to go on the Canyon, uh, Stewart Canyon Trail here. I mean, it's just, just around the back and there's a little picnic area too that you have to go through. And then there's also a couple of little beaches on the far side. And then from there, you can actually uh, start the trail. This trail actually is the beginning of like a 60 kilometer loop that goes almost around the entirety of the lake. Uh, most people wouldn't walk that. They would probably just use a boat or a canoe to get out of there and to get to their other hiking destinations. But also on this lake, there's also several uh, camping spots for backcountry camping. We were actually stopped by a, a warden on the way in and she asked us what we were doing. Apparently, uh, it's quite obvious what we're gonna be doing with my backpack and my bear spray, and they wanted to let us know that past the bridge, we're not allowed to bring our dog, and we're also not allowed to have parties under four people. So no dogs, so our dog doesn't count as a party of four. So we told her that we're just here to check out and kind of explore. We're gonna check out Lake Minnewanka and all its surroundings. Ironically, two days ago, this would have been nice and clear, but the winds and a close fire came by, I think close to Canmore, and then just smoked it all up. I did check in to the boat tour office back there, and they were saying that it's about $30 for children. Uh, under the age of five, it's free, and kids under the age of 18, it's like 30-ish dollars, and then it's like $50 for adults because we're Alberta residents. So I think they're doing kind of a, an Alberta promotion for 2021. For the boat tour, I think it would be worthwhile because this is a really, really big lake. They go out about 15 kilometers, which is not that far out because this lake, uh, I know is significantly longer than that because of the eh? Hope he's ready for a walk. Yeah? Can I go for a walk? No, no? want to go for a walk? Waka, waka, waka. Got this little rocky beach over here, which you kind of have to walk through to get to the start of the trail. So you get beachside hiking in Banff National Park. And you get these nice little peninsulas here to walk on. And then eventually we have to turn back kind of into the off the trail. What do you think of the view? I think it would be a lot nicer if it wasn't as smoky, but it's really nice. <laughs> so you get this big bay back in here. And I think that's what we're walking down. That big bay at the back. We keep finding cool little areas there as we're walking along the trail, which is up there, but we're not really following the trail that much. Another little day use area here with a bunch of picnic tables. You can see a large family behind us just enjoying the park. And there's this nice little bay here. It's kind of a little bit secluded. And they got this crazy little peninsula that's sticking out. Yeah, the first half kilometer or so, you just get to uh, check out little beaches and walk along the coastline. And you probably get to see the coastline the entirety of this trail here. Somebody decided to mail, build a big carns. <laughs> it's quite large, that one. Is that where it's showing us where the trail is? Then you're 10, 15 minutes alongside the beach, you start going up this little hill, and then you actually reach the original uh, trailhead. So you get your Stewart Canyon here. That's the closest one down here on the map. And then it keeps going across Lake Minnewanka at Almer Pass. And there's uh, a bunch of uh, campsites in there as well. And obviously seasonal restrictions and changes and stuff, they'll put you know, more warning signs about bears and whatnot on here. And then what's nice as well is that they have these 
little signs as you're starting through the trailhead with the actual distances. And what I found too is that all trails isn't always correct depending on who marked the trail and who walked them. So they'll have like an average, but it's usually slightly incorrect. And if you look at the numbers on here, so those numbers are usually pretty accurate. All right, Oakley, are we going for a walk? Are we going for a walk? Hey, are we going? Are we going for a walk? All right, let's go for a walk. Well, we had to wait for a bunch of goats to get across and nobody was actually giving the goats we're just on the ridge here and they wanted to come down and there's all these dumb kids and parents that were allowing the kids to try to get close to the goats. And then finally people dispersed and we were yelling at people to get off the bridge. And then they finally got off and then it took about 15, 20 minutes and then the goats finally got the chance to um, cross this bridge. So I guess we're not the only ones that use this cool little bridge here to get to the other side. So you can see on this one side here, you got Lake Minnewanka here flowing inwards. And then on the other side, I don't know what you call it, the, the Minnewanka River, maybe? It's flowing outwards that way.